Hi guys, so I've already prepped my face and completed my eyebrows. So I'm going to start out with the NYX eyeshadow base and put that all over both of my eyelids. Then I'm using my Coastal Sense Smoky Eye Palette and this is the coral color so I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. I'm also adding the eyeshadow to my lower lids. Then you want to use the darker eyeshadow in the same palette and put it in the corner of your eye and also in your crease. I'm using a crease brush for this. Now I'm adding the goldish color and using that in the inner corner of my eye and also the inner lower lid of my eye. To create a smooth transition and eliminate harsh lines, I am using a neutral color from the Coastal Sense Warm Palette. And I'm using a blending brush to achieve this look. Also from the Coastal Sense Warm Palette, I'm using a lighter eyeshadow to highlight underneath my brows. Here I'm using a L'Oreal liquid eyeliner to create the cat eye look. And I'm going to extend the wing slightly. Now I'm going to use the Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner from L'Oreal to add the eyeliner to my wet line to enhance the smoky eye look. As you know, I love my lash curler and this one is from Stila and I just love the effect it has on my lashes. Now onto my face. This is the Maybelline Fit Foundation, number 350. And I'm using my MAC Duo Fiber Brush to add the foundation. I'm going to use the Camouflage Palette from Coastal Sands to hide any dark scars I have on my face and also add the concealer underneath my eyes. I'm using a concealer that's one shade lighter underneath my eyes to hide any dark circles and also I love the way it brightens up my eyes and completes the makeup look. To set my concealer and foundation, I'm using the Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder by MAC. 
I'm using a blending brush to add the transparent powder underneath my eyes to prevent my concealer from cracking. And then I'll use a regular brush to add the powder to the remainder of my face. Now I'm going to add my MAC Studio Fix NC45 powder all over my face. Now I'm going to use a MAC Bronzing Powder to contour my face. Now I'm going to add my brush and I'm using Ambering Rose by MAC. Now before I add my mascara, I love to use a lash primer. And here I'm using a dual mascara by Revlon, but I'm only using the primer portion at this point. Now I'm going to add my favorite mascara for now. It is the Falsies Volume Express by Maybelline. I love the effect this mascara has on my lashes. It makes them look really, really long. Now on to the lashes. Here I'm using Ardell Half Lashes and it's number 305. And I'm using a Duo Eyelash Adhesive. So you're going to add the adhesive to the eyelash and let it dry for about 40 to 60 seconds until it becomes tacky. And then you could add it to your lash line. Although the eyelash adhesive is white, it will dry clear. So while I'm waiting on my lashes to dry completely, I'm gonna finish my makeup. Here I'm using a Nutmeg Lip Liner from Giordana. And I'm gonna add that all over my lips. It's gonna make my lipstick stay longer. Then I'm going to add my Christian Dior Serum de Rouge number 710. It's a pretty nude color on me and I love, 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 love this look. Now to finish off the look, I'm just going to add some Christian Dior Addict Ultra Lip Gloss number 157. So that's it for my makeup look guys. So stay tuned to see what I do with my hair. See you soon.